Hello, my name is Anita Rani, and uh, you may have seen me dancing on Strictly once upon a time. One of the best things that came off the back of that is that I was asked to join the board of directors for Northern Ballet. And now I have the honour and the privilege of being able to chat to Pippa Moore, who is a premier dancer, which is, I basically bow at your beautiful, possibly very, I don't know, worn out feet. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you danced with Northern? Um, 23 years in February. 23 years. So how does that begin? Because you look so young. Obviously, you are still very young. So how old were you? I'm a veteran for, for in ballet years. Um, I became professional at 18 and worked my way through various companies and joined Northern Ballet in 96. I mean, what I love about Northern Ballet is that it's, uh, for me, it just seems like the most exciting company around at the moment. And the amount of risks that yeah. Northern Ballet are prepared to take. I and think just... that's why I've stayed here a long time. I do feel like I've been in different companies within the same company just because of the diverse work that we do. Whether it's the narrative ballets, children's ballets, triple bills, and different choreographers coming in, and new productions, premieres. So it doesn't feel stale or that you're just repeating yourself. Can I see, can we look at, I know you've brought some point shoes, haven't you? Yeah, sure. I mean, these are how they come brand new. Right, so you're going to have to explain everything to me because right. I know nothing. Like, can I, can I have a, yeah, of course. let's have a look. What size are they? Um, they're a four. Yeah. Oh, yes, I'm a, my elephant feet are going to go nowhere near these. So what are they made of? This is like, a lot of people think that there's something down inside the shoe, like a wooden block or platform. Yeah, that's it, what. But no, there's nothing inside, as you can see. It's a sole, and then around this is like a hessian um, and fabric and cardboard sometimes, all with a special glue that's and then stitched. They're all handcrafted. It, every pair is made by hand. And the dancers can have specifications uh, made, custom you know, designed, so you can have a shorter at the back or longer at the front or a wider platform, depending on everybody's foot slightly different. But when they do come, they get battered about something chronic. You couldn't put this on and dance in this. No. Now. So, so this is how it's come. So why couldn't you just? You couldn't. Well, you couldn't just start. Um, there's no flex. No, nothing. I mean, it. I mean that is like a yeah. lethal. I mean, you could knock somebody <laughs> out with that. That's a lethal weapon. <laughs> and basically, it has to fit like a glove. It's an extension of our leg. Yeah. So, so what do you do to make that? So you would get the the back. You have to be quite strong. Can I do it? Literally. I mean, it has to be in the place for your. Oh, arch, right. So maybe so I wouldn't. I know where You it, know where it is. Where so it I is won't now, start. But it's about then. Sometimes you can actually just take this back and cut with a Stanley knife that whole bit. So this, this handmade, perfectly formed thing for your foot then just has yep. to get and manipulated you and. Rip the nail out of there and yep. then you'll end up with a. These are erect, but then with a soft back like this. Oh, right. That you'll be able to put your foot in. And you've worn these, obviously. Yeah, they're... After, how many, how many, oh uh, yeah. No, they, they've been through through the mill a little bit. These are a bit, bit newer. But you have to sew ribbons on and your elastics and some of the girls darn at the ends or can cut the satin off to give them a bit more traction so it's not slippy. But everybody has their own sort of tricks and tips, but the idea is, is it to feel like a glove. And how long does one pair last before you have well, to? It's tricky to say how one pair lasts because you'll always have, I have about six pairs on a rotation at any one time, but the company do get through approximately 3,000 shoes for the ladies a year. 3,000 shoes a year? Yeah. And that's not actually that many because we're all very good at preserving them. You can put drops of super glue at the bottom there, which just preserve the tips so that they don't go too soft and a substance called shellac, which um, is like a liquid resin that we brush in, and then again, that hardens. When they've gone soft like this, it will give them just a few more you know, um, days of strength. You've been a joy to talk to, and thank you so much. Um, yeah, <laughs> I probably need to wash my hands, don't I? <laughs> thank you.